you don't need to be a Revit Pro to be able to create a wall decorations like this in Revit. And just before I move to the topic, if you would like to level up your Revit knowledge, we have over 4 hours of free Revit training and you can find the link in a video description. So, the first thing which I'm going to do in Revit will be to create a two walls. And I will create, I will make a duplicate of this one. So let's make this one as Architeasy 200A. And then I'm going to copy that one. And let's say that this one is going to be Architeasy 200 millimeters B. So then what I'm going to do will be to go to the walls, wall architectural, and then scroll down here and you will see the stacked walls. So I can take any of them. I can take this one. And then I'm going to create a new type. Like Architeasy is stacked. Then go here to edit. And I can for a first one place Architeasy A. While the second one will be Architeasy B. And I can make this to be 900 while the height of the second one will be variable. So click fine and I'm going to create it here. So let's go to 3D. We can make this one to have, let's say, 3 meters height. So if I hover the mouse and click the tab button, you see that I can select one wall. So it's Architeasy B and then the bottom one is Architeasy A. So now how we can create those profiles. The simplest way and the very correct way to do that is with a wall sweep. But we have to create a profile. So for that you need to go to file, family. And then in this case I'm going to pick a metric profile as a family template. And let's say that I would like that this profile to be 20 by 20 millimeters. So I'm going just to draw it like this. So you see. It's a square, it stands like this, the name is family one, and then I'm going to load this into the project. So let's say that for a type A, I would like to select that one, I will go to the edit type, and then we'll go here edit structure. So it's quite important to go to preview and pick a section here, because then this uh, those uh, elements here will be available to select. So I will select sweeps and then I'm going to add the profile. So this profile is going to be family one. I can play some, let's see if you have any stone here or so, or I can just create a new material. And then I'm going to look here for some kind of stone or granite. Let's see marble. Maybe this could work. So let's assign this one. Okay, no, this has tiles. Quartz white, let's see. Okay, this could this could be okay for now, I hope so. So I can just name this one as Arkit Easy A. We'll click fine. And let's click OK. So we assign the material. The distance here will be top. So if I click apply and if I decrease, look at this now, I will go OK. If you decrease this one to two meters, you see that this will be smaller. So this is how our profile, the sweep profile will stand on a wall. So if I just go OK. I just hit the sweep, so here it comes. You see how it looks like. And here is our wall. So in this case, if I just drag the height, so it doesn't matter what is the height, this sweep is always going to be at the top of the wall. And by the way, we also have some vertical ones. So for that one, I'm going to go here to sweep, and then I'm going to make a sweep Architeasy A. For a profile, we'll click this one, and then for material, we'll add this Architeasy A. And then pick a vertical, so I can just place it on a 
how many places I want. But what's going on with the wall and with the wall material? So if I now go here and put the textures, you see that we have something here. So if I select wall A and if I go here to the edit type and if I add this architeasy as a material to the wall, so you see that also wall got the same material. While for B we need some kind of wood. So I can select it and then I can pick some kind of wood here. Let's see, maybe this wood stains. stain is fine, yeah. Okay, this can work. And what we need to do also is to go here and to duplicate a wall sweep. So create a new type, which is called B. So for B, what I have to do is to add the other material. So it's this wood stained. By the way, you can anytime match this. So MA is a shortcut. And now if I go here and if I go wall sweeps and take a type B, I can edit. And here they are. And let's see how it will look like if we turn on ambient shadows a little bit better. And by the way, if you go to the plan view, what you can do also is you can select this one, for example, and you can make the distance of 200. And then let's say you can copy this for 800. Or you can simply take it like this. You can place a dimension. Then select this one and write 800. And I can take, let's say, maybe align tool, align it, and we can do the same for this one. So you can very precisely place them later on and play with this. So if I go to 3D, you see that they have a very correct placement. And by the way, what is also important, let's say that I would like to create a section right now here, which looks toward our wall. You can also, let's decrease this one. You can also from here, select it and let's say, I put a bigger number, sorry. So 220, or you can select those two and then take copy and then develop your, develop your wall way more. So that was it for this tutorial. And if you would like to know more about modeling interior trims and interior details in Revit, just take a look at this tutorial.